Yes, although I think it's more um, in the West than it is in Japan. Um, uh, in Japan, you know, Love Live just goes on for years and years and years and years. Um, um, they announced recently, for those old school fans, um, they're going to announce a new Slayers anime project next year. You know, in fact, when I went to Japan a couple years ago, um, they have these pachinko parlors, these giant pachinko machines, these giant, you know, um, basic gambling machines. And there's one in Akihabara. Um, and uh, there were, and a lot of them are anime themed. Um, so there were Dragon Ball Z ones, and there was, you know, Evangelion ones. And there were Slayer pachinko machines. You know, there were Lupin pachinko machines. Um, so I think in Japan there's more staying power, probably because they all grew up, grew up with it. You know, it's kind of in the air, right? So it's easier for that to stay. Um, but yeah, absolutely. And I think we had this problem um, too. This, this started about 15, 20 years ago when the average age of anime fans lowered. Um, so around when like uh, Pokemon and Naruto came in, uh, we got all these teenagers just swept into an anime fandom, um, and they would be into anime, and then they kind of get out of it after that. So we had this kind of revolving cycle of teenagers, um, and um, and you know, obviously they have short attention spans in that sense, um, and I think that, that has remained a, a factor in anime fandom over here in America. Um, although, on the other hand, the weird thing is, you know, a teenager will be a fan of Naruto, not anime, not shonen, just Naruto, right? Um, and they, they, often they just kind of don't diversify that much, which I I find bizarre. But, you know, I don't know. I watch goofy comedies and then horror. <laughs>